Hey guys, um, so we got an email uh, about two weeks ago from a company called CalCal. Cal. Uh, they wanted us to uh, try out, do a, a product review of the their boot line. Um, and after some thinking about it, I decided to go ahead and uh, and do this. Um, the boot is made in China. Um, I mean, so is Muck Boots, and Muck Boots makes a pretty good boot. Um, so we're going to do an unboxing of it. The company name is Cal Cal. And there have been other videos I've seen on YouTube. But this is the box it comes in. It's got all their, uh, social media there on the front of their box and on the side so you want to make sure that you know that they got pinterest instagram facebook youtube and tiktok so but yeah it's a good thing you did this because i didn't know what those last two were <laughs> oh yeah that's pinterest and uh instagram okay. there's a name for the uh the facebook instagram an insta twit yeah, Instagram yeah, and Twitter. Yeah, Insta Twit. <laughs> so, but anyways. Bunch of trash. <laughs> I can probably uh, do away with, with that. Save a little bit of money. But, yeah, basically that's all it is. Just like regular shoebox. But these are the... Uh, the boots right here they are not for me they are for judy let's uh turn you up here there we go yeah these uh these are not for me these are, are for judy um it's got a more trash they went all out on the packaging oh yeah they did and this box was inside of like a brown shipping box yeah you got my boot dirty already. Well, they're gonna get dirt dirty. I mean, I do like the tread. The tread is very aggressive. I like the boot. The kick the little. Yeah, the little kick the boots off. Yeah. None of the muck boots ever had that. I don't yeah. think. Yeah, the muck boots didn't have that, and you always rip the uh, the back of the yeah um, the heel off. Trying to take them off. Trying to take them off, especially after you've been in it for a while. We'll see how long this thing lasts. Yeah. I mean, it's it's. A, I mean, overall, the it's quality big. feels feels good. It's nice, soft. It, it's soft rubber, so it feels like it will grip pretty well. Um, seems pretty flexible. So, but yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna try these boots out. And this is a size ten. Yeah, these are a size ten. Um, just gonna try them on. Back up. That's, that's more comfortable than that's a lot more flexible than the muck boots, actually. Let me see that one. Go that one. It's actually, I feel like it's softer too. Like the sole of it is not as rigid as the muck boots are. Yeah. Those are pretty comfy. They uh, match your leggings. You can't tell where your leggings. You know what? I actually like that they're like, I ha like I don't think sawdust will get down in there. Yeah. Like my other work boots do. These are actually really comfortable, honestly. They're not as rigid as the muck boots, like in the, in the calf part of it. Okay. So we'll see. I'll wear them and see how comfortable they are. I guess. Right on. Hopefully they're not too hot. Yeah. Oh, maybe under the sun because they're all black. Oh. So it's 90% uh, of everything else. I so think. we're gonna we're gonna try them out, and then we're gonna we'll be back in about six weeks to uh, give a, a a review. So when's six weeks from now? When is now? Now is uh, <laughs> February. No, March. March sixth, twelfth. March twelfth. I don't know. They come off easy too. It's kind of cool. It's nice. Nice. I have trouble getting my muck boots off usually. Right on. 
Although I will say that they have a sizing chart on their website and I did go up one size for what it called for for my foot because I like to wear really thick and sometimes like two or three pairs of socks in the winter. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're a little big with just one pair of socks on, but it's still comfortable. Okay. So just FYI. So looks like the uh, first week in May, we will be back to uh, do a review on see how well these uh these boots uh hold up i'll um, try to wear them a lot in the meantime yeah i don't know that i'm doing any actual mucking <laughs> no but you can go back in the creek yeah, yeah. they're go supposed back. to be waterproof they're i'm pretty sure these ones are supposed to be waterproof i don't know if they're waterproof like up past the neoprene right or just like the bottoms of them okay i'll have to go back and read about that and all right see well, anyways, we're uh, this is our first uh, product review, so uh, not sure if we're going to continue to do stuff like this or not, but um, we'll let you know. I got free boots out of it, so she got free boots, <laughs> you know, and we do need boots for all of our kids. If they do hold up well, I will say that if they do hold, these are really comfortable. If they do hold up, we'll probably buy a pair for each of the older boys because they are always back in the creek or mucking something. Right. So. so, yeah, we, I, I went through a pair, uh, two pairs of muck boots uh, within uh, eight months of each other. And uh, when these when this company reached uh, reached out, um, I thought it would be a good idea to try them out. These are more affordable than muck boots as well. So okay. that immediately makes them more appealing because the muck boots. What was the price on those? I think the regular price on these is somewhere around $40. Oh, 40. I think it was okay. like 46 muck boots like muck boots for me was like $180. Yeah, the muck boots. I, I don't know if they've gone up or down in price. I haven't priced them recently, but they are pricey and considering they don't really last like multiple seasons. Mm -hmm. It's it's weird because sometimes you'll get a boot and it'll last you like three years and then sometimes you'll get one and it'll last you six months and right. it's just frustrating sometimes. Yeah. And uh, the Walmart, cheap Walmart rubber boots is not an option. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> not as much as we use them. Yeah. The boys will tear through them in a week. Yep. So. All right. I think that concludes this uh, unboxing and chit-chat. We're going to get back to work.